Welcome back to the day of the Y'all Family Gamers. We're going here back on Hawkeye Sorrow's Walmart Show. And there was a demo that reminds me we're going to continue this main story. I, just, I always thought in the Express as far as yeah, this is how I go. But uh, this is going to be interesting. So if you enjoy, hit like, subscribe, and subscribe to the end of the video. The work is all trying not to die. Um, just that and that. Teleportation. The negotiation will commence at the hotel lobby. Everyone, please follow me. Oh, that's Topaz and Dr. Ratio. Who else? I'm trying to look before they actually show it. Aventurine, you're still alive! I thought you were dead! Mr. Aventurine and Miss Topaz are here too. Oh, and who is that over there? Hey, Dr. The Intelligentsia Guild's Dr. Ratio. This assembly is quite something. This is gonna be interesting. We're gonna die. It's been a while, my Astral Express friends. Yeah. I would also extend my sincere thanks to you, General of the Lafu. The presence of everyone here assures that the talks will likely reach a conclusion that satisfies all sides. What? Oh. Looks like everyone has come with expectations. Care to share? Of course. Topaz, if you please. Sure, leave it to me. In summary, it's good news. Yeah. After much deliberation from the Strategic Investment Department's council, the absolute majority of members have agreed to the following resolutions. Okay. In light of long-term considerations for interastral peace, and by authority of Pierpoint HQ, the Strategic Investment Department, on behalf of the Interastral Peace Corporation, will permanently relinquish its claim on Penacony sovereignty and offer unconditional support of the family's rebuilding efforts on Penacony. Huh? Uh. <laughs> now that's something. I agree! All in the name of peace. That's our motto. Yeah, right, Venturina. Has the IPC finished sharing all its thoughts? Then it's our turn. The Guild, much like the Genius Society, has taken a keen interest in the recent calamity in Penacony. Okay. Ultimately, both parties have agreed to a comprehensive collaboration, offering technical support for the reconstruction of Penacony. The floor is yours for the final <laughs> points, Mr. Skrulum. Skrulum, stop pop up an hour, dude! Organic life's unrelenting search to understand the realm of inner spirituality is something I both admire and envy. Inorganic life has no mechanism to evoke dreams. But when my mechanical impulses are activated, my inspiration circuits will start to operate, and I will enter a state defined as imagination. Every time within the realm of imagination, there emerges a fire uh -huh. of shadows. It is warm, bright. Damn, that's right there. Not I here. frequently ponder this flame might represent the essence of intelligence. A cluster of inspiration ignited by high temperatures. The future direction of the universe may well lie within it. Alas, they are nothing but projections of my thought system to me. Desired, but unattainable. Okay. But after learning of Penacony's accomplishments, I have come to realize that the flame is not beyond my grasp. After deliberations with my partners, we have decided to defer the progress of the simulated universe project, and instead assist the intelligence. I'm not sure to agree to that. If we're talking about her, though. In the research of the dreamscape and memory zone, so that these assets may be better used to serve humanity. Not only that. We've also established contact with the Garden of Recollection through the IPC, and they've pledged their support for our research endeavors. I'm truly happy for the Dream Chasers on Penacony. The cosmos' brightest and, let's admit, dimmer intellects are now at their service. But... Uh, never mind. At the end of the day, this is a positive outcome. No wonder everyone insisted that he be there. It heartens me to learn that everyone is willing to put aside their differences for Penacony's plight. 
I trust that everyone will surely reach consensus in the upcoming negotiations. Looks like Panacone's future is decided. I'm wondering, is there anything else the crew is concerned about? Peace is our greatest wish. Beyond that, we desire nothing else. <laughs> well, that's good. Now that everyone's minds are at ease, I shall take my leave. You may now depart with peace of mind. What? The Alliance will deal with all subsequent procedures. Huh? Wait. Appear if that's the case, it appears that we have nothing else to worry about on Penny. What? Hmm. Looks like it's time for us to embark on a new voyage. Sounds good to me. You two head back to the Express first. I'll pick up March and deal with the checkout procedure. Oh, also, Miss Black Swan, you have a matter to discuss with me, yes? Mm hmm. Nothing escapes your attention, Miss Navigator. You've been with us this whole time, huh? In any case, he and I will be waiting for you and March on the Express. What, 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 Let's go. What? Our time on Penacone has come to a fruitful end. Yeah, what, Penacone's what? journey ends here. I guess it was pretty fruitful. What? Um. Bruh! This is gonna be. The navigation meeting is about to start. We're all waiting for you. Wait, where are we going now? When did the express become so lively? Yeah, this worked on that one, Bell. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I defeated him yesterday. Bruh! Wait, when is the first light of, um, wait, what? What's that one? Hold on. Missions? Atlas? We're still in this one, but there's more! What is this one? Oh, there we go. Jim! Looks like everyone's present. Let the navigation meeting commence, then! There's some meeting to decide our next stop. <laughs> How we doing this? Wait! Show of hands. Booyah, why are you over, bro? Hold your horses, mm. cowboy. It's for those to decide. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I love you here too. <laughs> Shouldn't this be expected of a memo keeper? Wait, you're gonna love the ride? Allow me to explain. Mr. Boothill and Miss Black Swan submitted a request to temporarily travel with the express what? for their own personal reasons. We get my money, my soul. The Astral Express never declines any passenger whose heart yearns for the distant stars. What the Therefore, heck? Wait. They will be traveling with us for a while until they reach their destinations. Hey, I'm all for Black Swan. Really oh, cool. The Express is going to be much livelier now. But, Miss Black Swan, <laughs> you better not use your memo keeper abilities to pull any pranks. <laughs> Understood, Miss mm -hmm. Marge. I promise you, you'll never see me in your room while you're taking a break. Uh, don't! You're freaking me out! <laughs> all right, all right, now that everyone's met everyone, we can continue our navigation meeting. Where Firstly, are we going? Pom Pom wishes to thank everyone. If it weren't for you all unearthing the truth about Penacone, Pom Pom would have never known where Mikhail and the rest had gone. What they had to go Wait, through how old well, is Pom Pom? I reckon they all fulfilled their wishes. And it was thanks to all of you. Thank you, everyone. Now then, we come to the crux of this navigation meeting. We must decide on the Express's next stop. The first choice is from Himiko, the oceanic planet of Lushaka. Lushaka? A planet composed entirely of water. Oh. Many aquatic races reside there. Of course, it's also the home planet of the venerable, nameless Mikhail. Wait, what? The second choice is the agate world Melustanin, suggested by Welt. It's famed as one of the initial sites of the Stellaron disaster, and the place where the beauty Idrilla ascended. Today, it's celebrated I'm as more the planet of the water world. Oh, yeah, yeah, the third here. choice is Edo Star. A planet nestled within a vast ion storm region, currently under assault by the Antimatter Legion. Okay, yeah, However, yeah, that's the going. distress signals from there have recently ceased, prompting the IPC's wish for us to check in on the situation. Okay. The last 
choice, courtesy of Black Swan, is the glass belt Petravia, oh. a massive belt of asteroids that was turned to glass by the Lord Ravager Zephyro. These days, it's apparently known to house one of the branches of the Morning Actors Troupe. Ooh, so many options. I... I'm seeing stars all Are we even able to go there right now or no? Next up, everyone will select the destination that they wish to visit. And then, we'll put it to a vote. Oh, crapper. I can't make up my mind. They're all good. I I'm being honest. If that's the case, how about we go to Edo Star first? If that planet really is in danger, then we should go help them out. True. March is right. Though the fact that the distress signals have ceased means we're probably too late. But... You and Don Hung make good points. I'll throw in a vote for Edo Star 2. If that's the general sentiment, then we should indeed investigate. I Edo. vote for Edo Star 2. Four votes for Edo Star. One vote abstained. Looks like we have a winner. Next stop, Edo Star. Then this navigation meeting is adjourned. What? I'll go Wait. check the warp jump coordinates. Hold on, hold on. Everyone can catch I'm up on some right rest now. in the I'm, meantime. I'm confused. When it's time to make the jump, Pom Pom will make. Okay, Pom Pom, I get a point. Pom Pom. There's still some time before the jump. The sun also rises. Do? Okay, my well, also we gotta talk to Mark. <laughs> How about a chat over here? I'll talk to you in a minute, dear. Please let this points. trip be uneventful. Please let this trip be uneventful. Please let this trip be uneventful. Art. Why am I on that? Mumbling. I'm praying. Sorry, Marty. Love you. <laughs> the last couple of trailblazing expeditions have been downright terrifying. True. It's about time we had some fun, cozy, and cute adventures for a change. Come on, start praying with me. Please let this trip be uneventful. All right, Ma, stay out of trouble, girl. Huh. Uh, thought it's done. For some reason, I'm suddenly stricken by the feeling that we haven't crossed paths in quite some time. Hmm. Perhaps the joy of reuniting after a long time can also be considered just another part of How the How long base. has it been, though, technically? <laughs> Got it. Yeah, last well, three games on my board, bro. All right, let's talk to uh, Black One. Oh, you're here. Seeing your reflection among the stars in the porthole <laughs> really does seem somewhat surreal. What do you mean by that? How mm -hmm. about it? This journey of beautiful dreams. Was it to your liking? Alright, hold on. Okay. I can feel I your obvious excitement. <laughs> that means your memories what will also doing? become even more beautiful. Why well, have to box on? So, how about you hand that small parting gift back to me? Parting I'm gift? I'm quite eager to have it back. Wait, is that what the card? No, can I keep it? Oh, wait, can I look at it though? Alright, here mm. you go. Oh? Mm. Never mind. I just stumbled upon a particularly fascinating spot in your memory. Hey? Before I explain, I would like to apologize to you. This farewell gift I gave you isn't really a compass from the memory zone. But an merely an empty light cone. Huh? Remember when we entered the hotel in the dreamscape for the first time? Yeah. And I procured a few trinkets from your companions. Yep. Yeah. Their functions are similar. Okay. This way, I can always be attuned to your location, ready to assist immediately if you encounter any threats. Damn! But this is not its most intrinsic function. Really? Light cones are slices of light used to encapsulate solidified phenomena. This empty light cone is the same. Okay. It can etch your memories in their most vivid form, 
And then, allow me to admire and manipulate them, turning them into unique mementos. <coughs> All the world is born from the power of mind and soul, and that power is memory. To prevent ourselves from being forgotten by the world, okay. we must make the world remember us. Or use our memories to recreate it. Life, seemingly vast, offers but a scant collection of impactful memories. Some joyful, some sorrowful, some light, some heavy. But you are I'm different. Dead. Why? Memory is a reflection of the future. Within that reflection, I see your unparalleled worth. You have the power to craft memories that can captivate the world. Wait, we you have that type of power? Can illuminate the universe's future. Black Swan, when you come back, I'm getting you on my account. Memory will be as Guaranteed. scintillating as the star clusters you see in this portal. What? <laughs> Am I about to? <laughs> That's funny. Which is why you want to collect my memories. Precisely. But do you know what the meaning behind it? The reason is simple. In this grandiose and ostentatious dream of the families, only you personally experienced the entire course. What does that mean? <laughs> Patience, my friend. I will reveal the answer to you. Your teeth! Do you think he's them? Turn around and take a look at your friends. Every one of them is reveling at the arrival of their next destination, all filled with hopes and expectations of their own present and future. Okay. Revealing everything at this moment would be a bit of a buzzkill. You got a point there. It? You got a point there, Black Swan. I'm looking for an opportune time. A time when you're totally at ease. Perhaps when the night grows hazy and you're about to drift off. Okay, so you just want to come and bail me? Like, okay, I'm all for it. <laughs> How about one fine night? I will prepare the candles, aromatics, and even a cushy couch to create a cozy dreamland for you. Yep. Then I will tell you the answer in the form of a little bedtime story to lull you to sleep. Holy shit! Ahem. Hi. Hello. Attention all passengers. The express is about to make the jump. Please be seated and hold on. <laughs> it looks like we're finally about to set off. There are countless gleaming memories out there waiting for us. Why don't we just leave it at that for now? Black Swan, God. Uh, that's right. Damn you hot. As a small token of compensation oh. for playing that little trick on you with the empty light cone, I will gift you with some words. Oh. They hold great okay. significance to me. Life mm. is akin to a winding labyrinth where memories serve as our sole companions. <laughs> You'll remember these words dearly, won't you? Jesus. In the year 2158 Jesus. of the Amber Era, the first year of the new epoch, epoch huh? the universe resumed its intended trajectory. The kindling of conspiracy smoldered in Panacone. The land of the dreams. Failing to erupt into a blaze, it instead flickered briefly on Klopoth's anvil before vanishing in the blink of an eye. Damn! The dead and those fated to die remain in their eternal slumber, while the living find solace in deep sleep. All clamored in a cacophony of silence and then went about their own way. This story, man! Holy the shit! The cosmos emanated a vitality characteristic of a new era. All for the modest bride. I'm assuming we don't have the new era because, like, I've only heard about Panacone. Babies are born as stars extinguish. 
the silver rail unfolds. The story of the Astral Express comes to a close, yet it also embarks a new... Oh, no. Time marches What are you talking forward, about? ...heralding the arrival of a new chapter... Why not be on the top of 3.0? If that would kind of make conditions. sense, because I'd be wearing this. Pinnacle, land of the dreams, the end. Hey! Huh. What? No, you better not be having credits. I mean, what the flip? Uh, wait, why does it have mod seven as question mark? What? M Akron? Uh, yeah, we know what comes out of that. I my brain hurts. In low memory. <laughs> Script! Ilya, you dinky fucker! I wanna meet him, I wanna beat him up! <laughs> that was so weird! Made his drawing lead us starward. What? Countless shooting stars streak the sky tonight. If you can pick the right one, it will carry your wish. To thousands of distant worlds. You're feeling very relaxed now, aren't you? So, then, it's time to tell you a little bedtime story. No way, we're getting some clues! Well, let's start with the Damn, that artwork is beautiful! The crew was defeated in the battle against Sunday. Wait, what? Everyone in Panacone failed, and no one survived. But, don't panic. The truth, as horrifying as it may be, is not yet irreversible. Wait, what? There's still a glimmer of hope. What? And that's why I'm here. Wait, we lost? Next, I'll use this empty light comb that carries all your memories to relive everything that happened before. And when this story reaches its end, I'm sure someone as clever as you will notice that. Mm -hmm. There's a major flaw in the story you have experienced. Yet, within that flaw lies a glimmer of hope. Uh, uh. Are you ready for it? Uh. Do you remember everything? Yeah, I remember Agron helping. Back, the Express started a warp jump, sending you to a strange dream. Right. You were bewildered back then. Yes, and then a Acheron. ranger named Acheron showed you a way out. Yes. When you arrived at the Reverie we met Hotel, Misha. you met the doorman Misha. In the good. confrontation with a Venturine, an okay, IPC yeah, yeah, yeah. representative. So wait, was that all a dream? Thankfully, Acheron appeared again and helped you. Yeah. After that, you saved Firefly and explored Penacone together. During the tour, you ran into Sparkle disguised as Sparkle! And accidentally entered a child's dream. There, I rescued both of you from death, but Firefly didn't return to reality. She realized the truth and tried to involve you in her plan, but that resulted in an accident. What is death. going on? Even is there more Pangolin we don't know about? You well, I don't. encountered another murder. The two cases of death prompted you to investigate the truth. Yeah, remember basically two. Firefly died and we found out Despite Robin died. Th that messed up fucking Callus pretty victims, bad. You didn't make much progress. But you did learn about the watchmaker from Gallagher. Meanwhile, Aventurine was secretly carrying out his scheme in which you were one of Yeah, we the know, but I don't care. Agron could be a man of the I'm not Hildy. I don't give a shit. She's fucking high as hell, an and she is on my team, so fuck. And unsheathed her sword. Yep. That strike foiled Aventurine's plan and opened a passage between the sweet dream and the original well, memory zone. dormant. What? Upon your arrival at Dreamflux Reef, you learned the truth that death was actually dormancy. As well as the truth about the dreamscape, what? the Stellaron, and the Bellboy. You split up with Sunday and Robin, looking for a way to seal the Stellaron. Yeah. However, 
It turned out that Sunday and yeah, the we dream know all about that one. Finally, the story reached its conclusion. Yeah, well, maybe. You emerged victorious, with the Trailblaze triumphing over the Order, and Panacone embracing a bright and peaceful future. That's the most sick. This marks the end of the thrilling journey in Panacone. I'm sure you've already noticed something unusual, haven't you? Sparkle. The major flaw, which contradicts all the known information, hides in this story. Uh. Oh no, I don't want to pick! Ah! Wait, the major flaw. It is true that Gallagher is a history fictionologist. This is not the fatal flaw in your adventure. Oh, okay, so it's not. I, I, I'm thinking this one, or this one, one or two. Sparkle, yes, Sparkle. The most enigmatic, okay, by so the not. way, she left me a message to pass on to you. Always make sure you can distinguish reality from imagination. Oh, son of a! <laughs> Is that a clue? You may wonder. It has nothing not to do with that bull. It. Well, although the fake deaths of those two ladies don't align with our initial assumptions, I'll go ahead and eliminate that incorrect answer for you. Are uh -huh. you suggesting that this, that's a very astute guess? I'll discard that incorrect answer. So is Misha. Hmm. Little Misha. Or should I call him the Watchmaker? He is only a segment of memory in a dream bubble, but his ambition for the Trailblaze led him to leave the bubble and embark on a grand adventure in Penacone. Well, Misha is a rather special memory zone meme, and he was granted power by the trail plays. There's still one thing that he shouldn't be able to do. A life born in the memory zone could never manifest in reality. So, why did he appear in the Reverie Hotel in reality? The answer is simple. He is the one fatal flaw that contradicts all our known information. This means that you, who wholeheartedly believe in this memory, are still trapped in the dreamscape. What? At oh. this very moment. Come on, both. Wake up, sleepyhead. Break free from this eternal dream. Break free from this eternal we'll dream there. and return to the real world. We'll find our answers there. What? What? The train is about to make the jump. Five, four, three, two. Try rewinding. No. No, 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 no. What the hell's going on? This way, darling. Darling! Okay, I'll go for it. And on the eighth day. What the fuck? Bro, this story! Oh, wait, uh, wait. I didn't mean it. Yeah, sorry, sorry, I, I didn't. Okay, whatever. Oh! Alright, let's just go, I guess. Akron! Not another one. Akron! And Black Swan? Thank you so much, Black Swan. <laughs> Finally, I can breathe a sigh of relief. What is going on? What happened? I understand you must be confused, and we'll do our best to shed light on the situation. <laughs> However, before no, that, it's essential to know. Again. This place is the rift between dream and reality. 
A place reserved only for those who have awakened from Enna's dream. Enna? Who that? Do you remember Sunday's ambitious plan? Yep, yep. He intended to harness the power of the Stellaron. Yeah, I remember what came to that. Quite literally. And then, uh, the Wapu came and helped us. That was bad as well. And the desires of everyone in Penacone to usurp so the army and restore the order. Wow. Unfortunately, it didn't stop there. From the early days of our journey into Azdana, we were already affected by the Stellaron. What? That strange dreamscape where we met. Maybe it was a sign that your thoughts were beginning to drift away. It was all this, it's just a dream? I don't think the goal of the Order was to put everyone into a deep sleep. Quite the contrary. They used the Stellaron to catalyze the leakage of Astana's Memoria into the material world. Allowing the dreamscape to blend. And that's why Misha was able to come in the real world! And oh. that included a lot of memoria from the Beyond the Sky Choir. As time came and went, the dreams eventually became indistinguishable from reality. And reality became an illusion. People think they are awake, but their spirits have long since stepped into the Temple of Order. This is what makes Anna's dream so what? powerful. What? In this paradise governed bruh, bruh, by the bruh, order, bruh, 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 bruh. everyone indulges in their delight. My mind is just blown right now. Lives happily ever because after. A, I'm both black and white. Black and I don't like you know the other thing that elite that they is. In the sweet dream. But this story is more about that flaw, who is real. Only in this way could you reach the destination, lifting the crisis in Penacomi and embarking on your next trailblazing expedition. If it wasn't for Acheron's plan, we might have been trapped in this dream forever. Fortunately, while the path of the Order governs all things, it can't affect the Nihility. I came to realize this when the Dream Master tried to expel me at any cost. This is also and that's why I felt a sense of peculiarity when traveling with her. Well, I'm not as fortunate as she is. Even if I'm a memo keeper, I was still influenced by the power of the Order, and fell into hallucinations. However, thanks to your memories, now we still have a chance to turn the tide. For mortals, even if they possess the great power of a path, they can't create a flawless world like gods do. True. That's why there was a flaw in your dream. In other words, once you have realized the world is not real, you'll have a chance to break free from the dream. The flaw in your dream lies within Misha, who wow. could have never appeared in reality. When I turned the pages of your memories, I realized that I was in an illusion too. Without find Now Sunday has usurped the power of the Harmonious Choir through the Charmony Festival. As Donna has thus fallen into Anna's dream, Transforming everyone equally into the notes of the Eon. Failure doesn't mean weakness. Only the strong can gather the will to resist the Order and try to break free. We still have a chance, though. To make it happen. Please, Black Swan. Guide us to Firefly, the Firefly! Um, maybe so far, Wolf, maybe right. Gotham, it. Please come with me. Yes, ma'am. These people are... They're the ones who accept Enna's dream and indulge in their happy illusions. We have no means to wake them up now. Not even your clockwork will do the trick. Fine, I can't my clockwork However, now. there are still other things we can do. Let's keep going. No, I'm sad. Uh-oh, Akron, I need your ability, dear. Annihilation! I love that perk. So dang that is so bloody good. Wait, optional try using clockwork. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Why don't you try using clockwork? Why with me? Hang on. Uh let me guess. Sass Oh, that's so weird. Hey, that's it, mommy do it, so I did it. Slark. Mm -hmm. Wait. 
Wait, what? Killing time! Let's improvise. Let the show begin! Agron, I know you do best! Still waters of oblivion. Oh, I just love that. Ow. Ow. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, you're dead. Goodbye. Agron, I'm here again! Whee! It too shall fall. I love that move. Wait. What? Now, if I go to the pawn. Oh! It's. What? You mean it? Oh, mummy. We're in deep shit. Stream forth. Oh, the gleam of old flame. Yeah. I love doing that. That's so much fun. All right, Akron, you boy charged up. I'm not dealing with enemies. Why should I? When Akron can annihilate their souls. <laughs> Wait, can we go around? No. Into the dreamscape. Oh, so all that we did was just a dream. That's insane. Wait, what? Wait, what? Eh? Did I do one turn, that rookie? Uh... This spot... What? Alright, so... Okay, alright. So I took a wrong turn. Whoopsie. My, the game told me to go that way! The game lied! What the frick did I just do? Um... Do I need to go up and around? Because like... I... I don't want to say maybe? Uh... This could be a slight issue. Oh, it... The game just lied. You... Wait. Wait. What? <clears throat> Oh, wait, can I just cheat? Oh, I can cheat. Ha ha. You think I'm walking that way again? <laughs> this is getting more weird. Robin! Here we are. It's Robin. Like. Finally, you've arrived. Yes! Let me introduce you to Robin. She woke up from Anna's dream by her own will. And it's this tough lady who led us here with her song. I woke up for the same reason as all of you. In the dream, I experienced something that could never occur in reality. And not it. Are going to lock it up in a cage? I want to see it fly freely in the sky. Without us, this bird would be too fragile to survive on its own. Do you want it to die? No, but... <sighs> then let's take care of it together until it can return to the sky. Uh, uh huh? Birds have wings because they're meant to fly. Even if they may crash on the ground one day, they shouldn't be trapped in a cage. <laughs> Birds belong to the sky. Bro. So they should help them return there, right? The illusion was so impossibly blissful that I realized it was just a dream. And this is our final hope. Now, I'm... And his dream is founded upon the fire. Namely, everyone shared wishes. It will only materialize once the aspirations of all beings in Penacony merge as one. At present, it has become impervious due to people's desire to remain slumbering within the dream. And in order to destroy it, we must make everyone in Penacony want to wake up. Now comes the tricky part. How do we do it? Good question. 
I'm curious too. Humans yearning for sweet illusions borders on obsession, leading them to subconsciously resist the harsh reality. Therefore, I carefully selected a moment where he was completely unguarded, guiding him to uncover the truth himself to make him regain his consciousness. However, to wake up everyone in Panacone and get them to share the same determination, that would be nearly impossible. Indeed. I'm afraid it's almost as difficult as resurrecting an Eon. Yeah, true, true, true. But I'd rather we can't just stay here and do nothing. Donong, who the hell? This is a critical moment for the whole universe. Real one, who cares about some dumb number? <laughs> Thanks to Black Swan. There you go, Oliver. You're welcome. And thanks to the memo keepers in Penacony too. I believe your partners have also awakened from their dreams. You mean this is the first step of our plan. With the assistance from the Garden of Recollection, those who possess a strong will like you will gradually awaken from the dream. So I mean, Himiko, well, Mark, maybe Firefly, and a dream. Because, However, um, awakening a mere handful of individuals is insignificant compared to the vast number of people immersed in the dream. We must find other ways to awaken the free will of millions of people within a short period of time. Easy than done, bro. If breaking through from the inside proves challenging, we can seek assistance from the outside. We've long been aware of a potential solution. As Donna is a galaxy known for its abundant memoria, and the remarkable phenomenon known as synesthesia dreamscape. When people first enter this place, they often find themselves and others sharing a collective dream. At this very moment, there is only one dream encompassing the entire Asdana system. So, you mean, if we can attract a large number of outsiders to this system, their free will would intertwine with this dream and shake it to its core? However, those outsiders might also succumb to the dream and become the foundation of the order instead. The real challenge is, how can we gather a huge number of people as determined as you within a short period of time? <sighs> the Lapu! Like the Jadab Kiss of Allying Oath will be the only solution. No. No need for that. Keep your once in a lifetime treasure. We don't need to bother the Sienjo Alliance for such a tiny request. You, you want thousands of people with unwavering free will? Me? <laughs> That's easy. Really? Just leave it to us, Galaxy Rangers. You can gather Galaxy Rangers? <laughs> Outsiders may see Galaxy Rangers as elusive and disconnected individuals, and actually, they're right. And that's why we have a tacit understanding among us. Do you know what it is, Acheron? What the heck is that? It's the relic I returned to you. Oh. Exactly. Its owner must have told you that it's meaningless to anyone other than a Galaxy Ranger. And that it can only fulfill its purpose when returned to its rightful owner. Because it's a burial artifact. Worthy only of a hero who has served the Galaxy Rangers with honor. When its light illuminates the universe, it means the fall of a hero. And in the direction it falls, countless meteors will streak across the sky. Those meteors are Galaxy Rangers, coming from all corners of the cosmos, driven by a shared purpose. Without questioning the cause or counting the cost, because we abide by a bottom line. The shooting stars of the hunt only descend on the longest night. And with them comes the dawn. We've stayed silent for far too long. Now, it's time to remind all the cowards, oppressors, and villains of the universe of our presence. I'll be the one to ignite the first spark. Once the dreamscape is swayed, I'll complete the second step. I'll fine-tune the slumbering souls with the Song of the Harmony, 
interrupting them with the discord of Trailblaze, and guiding them towards reality. It's true that some people are born strong, and others are born weak. If the Trailblaze is the target of heroes, then the Harmony will guarantee that the strong help the weak. Only the people of Penacony themselves can be the saviors of their homeland. Hi. Hello. Their path of happiness should be forged oh, yeah. by themselves. Doing all right. Um, in the middle of hell right now. While I may not be a nameless, I'm willing to instill courage in all those who. I'm in the recording, by the way. This is my brother. I'm in the recording. I kind of got it. This dream. Uh, th this story. It's too. It's just gone crazier. Your plan oh. sounds well. Well, like you know how <laughs> last time it I did it Sunday. Somewhat. Yeah. Idealistic. It turned out it's all number dream. The flaws rooted in human okay, nature can't be eradicated or yeah. Do you believe these efforts alone are enough to convince everyone to choose the right path? I agree with you, Black Swan. That's why the most critical aspect of this plan is not to convince everyone to choose the right path but to inspire them to save themselves. <laughs> so, you're the key in the end, I assume? The Harmonious Choir possesses the power of an emanator. To overcome it, you'll need the same level of power. The final step in destroying the sweet dream will be my responsibility. That's a relief to hear. <sighs> Now that our roles are assigned, let's get to our battlefield and pose a grand finale. This one more more nuts, so. May I have a moment alone with you? Don't have twice. <coughs> There's one more thing I need to explain to you. And that is? This grand festival is drawing to its close. This is the starting point for the ultimate stage of our journey. Just as it marked the beginning of all the stories in Penacony. Indeed, she was the first to discover the world beyond the shores of death, and shared this truth with all of us. There's something you should know. We were able to locate you within this boundless dream, and find the key to breaking free from the dream. All because of one person's unwavering dedication. Uh-oh. Firefly. She awakened from the dream ahead of others discovered the Express amidst the stars, and brought us valuable information about the remnants of the Order. She may have been aided by the script, and it came at a cost. What? As you know, Firefly is a stowaway. Yeah, we know about that. Who entered the dreamscape in a different way from ours. Without the dream pool in the hotel or assistance from the family, she can only awaken from this dream in one way. A real death. No! We mustn't fail her determination. I'm not implying that we must win this fight. No, no I will be winning this fight and I'll be ripping Sunday's head off. That, that Permanently! Are you ready? Yep. Oh, this is getting nuts! Oh. Very well. Now, please close your eyes. Okay, so what do I do now? Oh my god, this game is trying to give me a bloody heart back! Yeah, I know! I had my team always set. No, we're going my counts because I actually haven't built. Oh. Lynxia, uh, Robin, and Acheron. Get your ass in here! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh no. Is this rain? Oh, that's oh. creepy! I didn't know that before. If I remember correctly, it has lasted for decades, or even centuries. The unwavering <coughs> determination of the hunt followers persists even in death. But thankfully, we've guided those lost souls. I might do a double the recording. End. They were heroes in their time. 
And they won't be reduced to puppets of the nihility in their death. You see? The shadows on the sea have vanished. Do you remember? He once said that the sky Ooh. would clear when the regrets of the departed had faded away. But it's still raining. Who is I this? Know. So, why is all this? Why did this rain choose me? Because someone's regrets haven't been fulfilled, perhaps. Mortals who walk the paths are like sailors on a vast ocean. This story is just gave me fucking hook even more last time! Of possibilities. These ripples last longer than the fleeting lifetimes of humans. And for some, their presence leaves such a strong mark that it's reflected in the waves. Sin thirsters. The obsessions of the Path Striders. They emerge from the depths of Ix, seeing themselves as masters of their own destiny, unknowingly repeating the actions of their past lives. They emerge from the nihility and head toward it, leading purposeless lives. However, these hollow phantoms, they have journeyed with me for such a long time. Oh. What? So this is... How it is. I, I'm already dead. Yes. Whoa. Are you watching over me? This is my duty as the watcher of the Acheron. Wait, the watcher of the Acheron? Wait. I'm guarding the path. To What's your real name you? then, Acheron? If, the, if you're the watcher of the Acheron. I'm reluctant to become one with it. I'm confused. Back to this side. I'm dying to dying the path to the abyss. If this is what the departed ones expected, ah! should you try to change it? Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't if know. they bring Agron again, that'd be freaking awesome. But someone once told me that when the inevitable moment came, he hoped that someone would stand at his grave and place a bouquet of flowers. Even if it doesn't make sense? Some tasks have to be done, even if they are pointless. I have experienced that much already. Please extend your hand and then close your eyes. I'll carry your wish with me and fulfill it. Only then will I be able to put an end to the final regret by the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea? Will Whoa. I ever see them again? Yes, that is certain. Because it was you who told me about the Express. Your two former companions. No freaking way! Swarm, your narrow escape from death. And your encounter He's with one the of the was that they were looking for and he went off and was then returned. The hometown to which you could never return. Oh my god. Yeah. For countless times, I got rejected by the family and had to pass it by. But I knew that my companion was still there. Alone. Mikhail. Carrion. Are you still there? Oh my god. Take my hand and come with me. We freaking mind blown. Hey, you'll embark on a long, long journey, shrouded in darkness. That's the color of existence. Follow it, and it'll guide you and illuminate the way out. By doing so. You'll eventually reunite in the warmth of the sunlight. Thank you. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. Welcome to the horizon of existence.
This place is one of the thousands of my 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 and shapeless. What? And it's also an exit out of tranquility for the awake ones. Sorry, I'll I'll look back late. I'm just late my game. Uh oh. In a good way, I've just made for a long off before some shepherd's pie in oven, right? Yeah. It duplicated the ingredients I had so I could make even more. Oh shit. Don't ask me how I did that, I have no idea. Mm. Uh, well folks, I'm gonna end here for now because I'm gonna do a double recording here. So it's Dragoon at the Z and D. So I'm gonna make sure I'll be going on because folks, the story just getting more and more crazy. I thought we were done with Pangolin, and I was like, oh, we're getting ready to go to our next adventure. Which, from what sounds like, the air sounds nuts. But then found out, no! All we did was numb our dream! And now we gotta fight him again! Wouldn't it be nuts? So, if you enjoy, hit like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you all for watching. Hope to see you on that one. I'll catch you on the next one. Catch you on the next one. Later!